How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to Fear of the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 10. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. How old are you, Ollie? 15. Jeez, want to go out there? And you really think you're ready to be a ranger? I admire your ambition. Everyone has got to start somewhere. This is the morning cloak, extremely rare, lived for about a year, and Victor has got the perfect spot for it on the shelf. Victor has an obsession wrong? with butterflies. It was. Victor no, asked it, you to assist me while he's gone, not spook the kid with your old war stories. <laughs> Look, this isn't hazing, Ali. It's about how you see the world, about who you choose to be in it. They all began as caterpillars. You see, they started as one thing, became something else, something better. Is that what he sees That's himself what as? Did. I can't believe we're watching an episode of Fear the Walking Dead where they're trying to find a butterfly. <laughs> you found it already? Uh, Walker, of course. Gotcha. Seems capable. Who is that? Oh. Ooh. Oh, God. Is that Charlie? Take your mask off. Kind of looks like it, the eyes. Oh, yeah. It's just a kid. Yeah, well, what does that make you? What are you stealing? <laughs> Damn. How'd you get into this predicament, Charlie? Does John Dory know her? We're back when we said. John? Howdy, okay. Charlie. He does. She was with us when we tried to stop Teddy. One of Morgan's. I'd give him the butterfly right there. I need you to tell me the truth, Charlie. Wasn't a coincidence you running into Ali out there, was it? No. Did Morgan put you <laughs> up to it? No, he, he doesn't it? know I'm here. Then why are you? Been looking for a way into this place for a while now. For what purpose? <laughs> right? I want to live here. Why not just use the call box? Because she knew Victor would say no. I know everything about Victor's former allies, especially the ones he's deemed as threats. Look, I knew that it was the only way that I could be a part of this. This? A chance at a normal life. I was so young when everything changed. And every single day since then, it's just been one fight after another fight, after another fight, after another fight. I just don't want to fight anymore. If you just give me a chance, whatever I can do to prove to you that I want to be here, I'll do it. Dude, we have a problem in the infirmary. There's a radiation bring us. How do you know that? You see him a lot out there. Just wanted to protect the town. I'd do anything for this place. So how do you wind up here? I'm not telling you anything. Why not? <laughs> this guy. You wouldn't understand. Jeez. What the hell was that? Where did they throw this time? Garcia jumped? I don't see him down there. Part out of the wall now, player. <laughs> it's what Victor would have wanted. What, for him to kill himself? Garcia promised he'd do anything he could to protect his place. If he couldn't do it while he was alive, then... He probably just didn't want to suffer anymore. He was sick. He had radiation poisoning. I thought this place was safe. It is. And how did that happen? It Happened just out there. Good question. Well, what was he scouting for? Parts. Our elevators haven't worked since we were attacked. Victor wants them fixed. I mean, what if I can get them for you? Will you let me live here? Charlie, no, it's too dangerous. You kidding me? Look what happened to the other scouts. None of them have Charlie's <laughs> skills. Well, what skills would those be? Ones that allow her to sneak in and out of places undetected. That's true. That's the thing they focus on that Victor previously. Oh, you even said you're going to do it again here. You can't be serious. You volunteer. You leave tomorrow. Ollie, you'll go with her. I Big will. Dude. Charlie, come on. If I want to hear play by play about my sister. <laughs> Finding out why Charlie's really here. Mm -hmm. She said she came on her own. She wants to live here. And that very well might be true, but we need to consider the possibility it might not be. True. She could die. If she wants to live here as much as she says, she'll be careful. It's what separates the caterpillars from the butterfly. You said you wanted to be a ranger. This is what rangers do. So why Strand got you out collecting butterflies? Good question. I just think it's kind of shitty dropping them in those jars for no reason. <laughs> they only live for your tops. And you think that makes it okay? Stalkers. Arnos people. This is a bowling alley? That's cool. So why is being a ranger so important to you anyway? I have always wanted to play a game. You've never bowled before? This guy's pretty well trained. It's based on his processing and protocols and decision making. How did you know that gun was here? First the key and then that. I used to live nearby. Come here on the weekends. Will you show me how to play? You've really never bowled before. <laughs> Will you show me? I'll show you when we get back from getting what Howard wants from the elevator. But what if I don't make it back? What if you don't? You know, the Rangers didn't. One roll. <laughs> and then you're gonna. You guys just barely met. Calm Little down. Arrow. A strike. That was good, right? That was great. Team Raiders. I saw his name under that photo of you two. He was my dad. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> He loved boxing. Was he in the military? I saw a rank by his name. He was in a mom in the army. The bomb went off. All the bad shit that came with it got into his blood. Mm -hmm. Didn't make it. Damn. Done this before. Remember? 
You're really doing all this just so you can live in the tower? Yeah, that, and I want to help you become a ranger. Why do you want to help me? Well, I wouldn't be getting this chance if it wasn't for you. True, but I still want to know her angle. And be fast. You don't want to get exposed to whatever Garcia was. Luckily, that door was unlocked. Oh, did they all watch her go up there? Must be one of Strands. You want to tell us why he keeps sending people to the pit? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not even a ranger. What about your friend? No, they the saw girl her. girl that went inside. What is she going there for? Let's go find out. Let me put my mask on. It's not safe in there. Open the door. Get back! Back up! Oh my god, you guys are idiots. Why don't you guys back up? I can't believe the audience died like that. <laughs> Terrible. Does he recognize him? Oh, is that the dad? Charlie, you have to come save him. Yeah. Are you okay? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Where's your mask? I lost it in a fight. You killed all these? Yeah, I left the rest in there. Damn. One of them grabbed onto my mask while I was closing the door, and I'm not going in after it. Plus, the readings were clean. You shouldn't have gotten close to them. They're eventually gonna break through, huh? That's convenient. Magnet flashlight. Why didn't you kill that walker? Because it reminded you of your dad? I thought maybe the uniform... I had it covered. I saw what you did outside. It's the only way. I feel terrible. It's fine. I handled it. I don't mean that. I didn't tell you the truth. <laughs> About what? About why I came to the tower. Morgan sent me. I'm supposed to turn off the beacon on the roof tonight. Clear out the walkers so they can get Grace and the baby in. And then what? They attack? I don't know. You made me help you. When Strand finds out about this- He won't! Of course he will! Because I'm not gonna go through with it! I won't. I don't want to do it anymore. Because I didn't lie about everything. And she just told you this All plan. All those things I said I wanted. A life like I was supposed to have. I still want that. And I thought that I was gonna find that with Morgan, but not if I have to put you in danger to get it. Yes, Howard, I copy. I'm here. We're about to head out. What's he talking about? Did he uh, tell did. him to kill her before they come back? I'm sorry. I'll leave. Damn. I'll leave. What are you doing? I'll leave. 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 leave me here. I'll leave. Please don't do this. Damn. You done? Yeah, I got the board. Coming back now. Oh, he did get it? Just you? And it's just because I didn't want to do it alone. Just me. You did what Victor would have done. <laughs> Damn, he really left. How she can get out of this? Unless she looks up on the roof of the elevator, should be a hatch to get out. Okay, never mind. Ollie came back or somebody else? Yeah. I told you I was with my dad until the end. That wasn't true. When he got sick, I, I left him. I'm not gonna make that same mistake twice. So escape, run away from everybody. All those things that you away never from got Morgan to do. and Strand. There's still a lot of things I haven't done either. Like what? Love. That was a first. Yeah. <laughs> Found some places on my patrols where we can hole up for a bit. Charlie? What the heck? Mr. Dory. Why did she collapse? Did John know the plan? Howard's plan? How is she? Not good news. They're taking this Stable. long. She was exposed to radiation. Damn. Just like the Rangers. You can treat it, right? Not a good you sign. How bad is it? Given the amount of exposure she's had, she should make the most of everything. Damn. How is Howard going to feel? I sort of look like the ones we saw in that building. Be sure to mention it to Victor. Why is Charlie here? What did Morgan send her here to do? Morgan didn't send her. She was telling us the truth. He kept her secret. I'll see to it she's escorted out in the morning. She can't kick her out. She's sick because that's what the world out there has to offer, which is why Please. we have to do everything to protect what we've built here and not let our personal feelings cloud our judgment. Why did you bring her back here after what we discussed? <laughs> he knows he caught feelings. Mind. I wonder what it was. What was she close to that was radiated? Happy birthday, Charlie. It's beautiful. Morgan, I'm supposed to turn off that light. I need to find a way to tell him what's going on. I'll do it. I'll take care of everything. This guy's madly in love. He want to turn his people so quick. This guy's gonna get himself killed. So this is why he sent him. Oh, damn. Oh my God, that <gasps> combat was trash. <laughs> Don't do it, please. It's what Victor would do. It's true. Just look at the guy in the first episode. Oh, damn. Imagine. That's crazy. Charlie, what's wrong? No, he, he wasn't. He's dead. You killed him. You killed him. You killed him. Charlie, just no. you back off unless you want to join him. You're a monster. No. He's trying to protect this place from those who are trying to undermine it. And if you want this tower to last, I suggest you do the same. It's true. He's right, Jim. I just don't like that John is John? fully on his side. You mean your son? Because he would be ashamed if he saw this. <laughs> yeah. He proved anything. Ali paid the price for what he did. Now it's your turn. No. Lay one hand on her, I will kill you myself. Anything happens to me, you're gonna have to answer to Victor. He needs me more than he needs you. 
That's true, honestly. Anyone in this tower gets sick, he'll have no one to help them. Charlie stays with me under my care. And if they lose you, Howard, you're not really missing much. You're second in command, but the main man's but still up there. I had to say it, Joe, because I need him to believe I do. Oh, okay, what? good. I just need the right voice telling it to him. I thought it could be Howard, but now it's gotta be me. I don't really see anything she did wrong. It's Ali. Alrighty, that was episode 10 of Fear the Walking Dead. This episode focused on Charlie and Ali from Strand's group. I still feel kind of whatever, especially with the development between both Ali and Charlie. Obviously, it's that school kind of love. One thinks they're cute, one thinks they're handsome, and kind of get giddy over each other and just fall high over heels over one another. That's basically kind of what happened here in this episode, where we have both of them fall madly in love basically within a day, which I kind of get, obviously, for the circumstances. They're in this apocalypse world where it's hard to have true love, really, but I still think it was really quick. You literally just met yesterday. So we start with Ali getting a talk with Howard, Ali begging Howard to promote him as Ranger, but obviously Howard says he doesn't have that power. It's going to be all up to Strand, but he can send good word. He sends Ali on a mission to find a certain butterfly. Ali then goes to catch the butterfly and comes across Charlie. Charlie is then held at gunpoint and picked up by John Dory Sr. and Howard. Back at the compound, Howard questions why she's here. Charlie convincingly says she's there because she really wants to be there. She's really sick and tired of having to have to handle death over and over again. She just wants to have a stable life and to be able to have the feeling of safety whenever she goes to sleep. Howard still has his doubts. So once a ranger comes back being sick from radiation, Howard suggests that Charlie go out to, to get the elevator parts that's needed for the compound since they were destroyed in the Arno attack. Charlie immediately agrees and Howard has Ali go with her. On their travel, they both bonded pretty well. Ali telling his story to us and teaching Charlie how to bowl. They finally make it to the building. Charlie climbs the building and enters through the second or third floor. Then Ali gets caught as a hostage. And it looks like it's Arno's people. They ask him why they're there, what's important in there. So they wanted Ali to lead them into the building. Ali opens the door and releases all the walkers on them. And that part was pretty dumb. I don't know how they could get ambushed like that so quickly. But after that, Ali makes it in, meets back with Charlie after Charlie saves him. And once they get the part, Ali locks her in the elevator. And that's when we learn that Howard tasked Ali with leaving her behind. Ali felt bad and in his feelings. So he saved Charlie. And once they kissed, Charlie collapsed. Charlie called John Dory and they raced over to save Charlie. Back at the compound, June and Grace tell us that Charlie has a lot of radiation and that she should be enjoying every day of her life going forward because it seems like there is now a timeline. That really sucks. I can't believe they neglected Charlie this whole time just to give her radiation sickness. But that leads to Ali feeling sad and wanting to give Charlie a good rest of the night. They hang out for a while, then Charlie remembers why she's there in the first place. Like she revealed to him earlier that Morgan wanted her to infiltrate the compound to turn off the light on top of the roof. Ali said he'll do it, so once he got up there and, and was about to, he gets caught by Howard and is eventually thrown off the building. We get a confrontation that seemed to be a 2v2, Howard and John Dory Sr. versus June and Charlie. June was able to talk down Howard after he tried threatening her as well, but June rebuttaled. She's basically one of the most important people there at the compound, since she's basically the only nurse slash doctor there. Overall, it was an okay episode. I'm glad we got more Charlie, and I didn't expect Ali to live as long as he did, especially with the way the direction of these episodes are going. The main cast is already so big, so they're not going to really be adding more to it. So they always end up seeming to kill them off by the end of their episodes, aka Paul last episode and now Ali here. Other than that, that is all I have. If you have any questions or theories, please leave in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.